Java is a very popular programming language and Visual Studio is a very popular development environment. However, for Java, most people are using NetBeans or the Eclipse IDE, uh, and that's because Visual Studio for quite a while did not have good Java support. There is decent Java support now, and I'm going to show you how to get that. Uh, you'll go to the web, and I'll post the link to this extension uh, in the description for this video. And so you can just go straight to the Visual Studio Gallery and search for the Java Language Support Package. Or again, you can click on the link down there in the description. Download this, and once you download it, run it and it's going to install Java support. It will then ask you to close and reopen Visual Studio. You need to do that. And then you only need to do one other thing to get going. You need to make sure that you have the NuGet package manager. So go to Tools. Uh, if you already have NuGet, you know that you do. Obviously, you don't have to do this. But if you don't, go to Tools, Extension Manager, and then click on Online Gallery. And I already have it installed, so you saw it on that other screen. But you'll type in NuGet over here, N-U-Get, NuGet Package Manager, uh, download and install that. Once that is done, and you may be prompted to restart Visual Studio again, you can then go to File, New, and then click on Project, and you will have a new option over here on the left that says Java, and then you can click on that, and you get to choose a console application, class library, or empty project. We will say console application, just double click that. And then you're gonna see uh, a hello world code already generated for you. You can see we have syntax highlighting uh, working here. And if we wanna run our application, there's just one more thing that we need to do. When we go over here uh, to release and we click on the start button, you will see this error. And it took me a little while to figure out how to solve this. All you have to do is specify the package and the class name. And you do that by going to project and then console application for properties or whatever the name uh, is for your application. So application name properties. Then go to debug over here on the left. And uh, under configuration, you want to select all configurations and then in this text box next to start class within project you need to enter in the package name and the class name so our package is pkg and our class name is going to be program uh, and so we type in pkg forward slash program just like that and then we can close this window and we can click the start button and you will see a console window appear and you'll see your hello world text. And so now there you go. You have Java up and running in Visual Studio, syntax highlighting. Uh, you can debug, you can run your applications right here from Visual Studio. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a beginner to Java or you're just jumping into the world of computer programming and you would like to learn more about Java programming, check out my video course on Udemy. The link is in the description. We're going to be building some sweet Java programs together and having a lot of fun. So check it out. Again, the link is in the description.